Now, in December 1998, I started sponsoring a, a two-year-old little boy in mm -hmm. Ethiopia by the name of Elias. And over the years, I've received letters and updates on how he's doing. I'm sure I, these are like very similar to, to probably most people's fridges yep. around the country. You've got photos and little letters. So over the years, we've written back to him and my kids have sent him postcards and drawn him pictures. Well, as you know, last week, I travelled to Africa and finally got to meet Elias, something I never thought I'd do. And it was one of the most rewarding experiences oh. of my whole life. Ethiopia, home to 85 million people in an area the size of South Australia. It's lush, green, muddy, but a beautiful part of Eastern Africa, a long way from the famine of 84 that most of us remember. The majority of people live on the land, but are poor and surviving on little more than a dollar a day. August is the rainy season, so our journey is slow when slippery, even the four-wheel drives were struggling, meaning we had to hike into the village on foot. So we left Australia on Friday night. It's now Monday afternoon. It was a full day's drive to get to the nearest town. Then it was a couple of hours climbing up the mountain. In between the mud and the mist, we're almost there. The little boy who has graced the photos on my fridge at home for the past 13 years was all of a sudden right in front of me. And he was very, very real. Elias is a shy but warm 15-year-old boy who loves his soccer and one day dreams of becoming a doctor in his local community. <laughs> it seems the entire village has come out in full song to support Elias. His parents step forward to greet me. Despite the obvious language barrier, there's a special understanding. From one mother to another, we both want a future for Elias. It's amazing to actually meet someone who you don't know, but you feel you do. It's really, and meeting his mum is really quite emotional. <laughs> the celebration continues welcome. as Elias and his parents, sister and Shara, usher me inside their humble home that sleeps six. Thank you. In a house made out of mud and straw, there's a familiar scent. The floor is strewn with eucalyptus leaves that give off a beautiful perfume as we walk over them. Thank you. As I sit down, I can't help but think my $40 a month has made such a difference to the life of this young boy, his family and his entire community. The whole time we're inside, the village crowd jostle for a position at the window who watch on. The strange new faces of the crew and our cameras prove a novelty for the locals. <laughs> Neighbouring women have gathered to help prepare traditional Ethiopian foods, including a barley, milk and spice mixture known as gabula. Mm. It's fair to say this porridge-like dish is an acquired taste. The spice is really unusual flavour. A coffee ceremony is held where the beans are roasted right before me. Oh, it smells beautiful. Ethiopia is the world's oldest coffee exporter. If I was ever going to get a good cuppa, this was it. Mm. It's lovely. It's not um, bitter at all. It's really quite rich and lovely. Before I came, my own children chose a few small gifts they'd asked me to share with their brother from afar. Back outside with our ever-present audience watching on, I even had a little something for Elias's mum. I just gave her a necklace. And for the crowds, a little taste of something from home. I hope I have plenty. Oh. Elias is kind enough to give me an insight into his day-to-day -day life in Chensha. And this is where you and your dad sleep? The house is previously built by his grandfather. There is also apple here. Oh, apples, yes. Yeah. And what else is growing? Carrots. Carrots, yeah. And then before I know it, my afternoon with Elias is over and it's time to say goodbye. Bye, Elias. Bye. As I make the muddy trek out of Elias's village and head back towards the local town, I can't help but feel a sense of satisfaction that this little boy, 15,000 kilometres away on the other side of the world, has a chance to finish school, to go to university, 
and realise his dreams of becoming a doctor. Chencha is one of the poorest and most remote regions in Ethiopia. World Vision sponsorship of two and a half thousand children here has made such significant changes as fresh water supply for more homes, two brand new schools where previously there were none, and 2,000 farmers taught better methods of crop production. You can really see the difference that the support has made to this local rural community. It's a community just like yours and mine, where time with family and friends is important and Sunday sport is a religion. Back home and along with the memories of meeting Elias, I now have a new picture for the fridge. How magic is that? That's great. Oh, absolutely. I'm just, yeah. yeah, I still get, it was his mum, like I said, there, meeting his mum completely choked me up and she just sort of had that look of, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And also, your, your journey's like, like that with World Vision. I always love it. Remember going, you're going to Mongolia, yeah. and and some of the delicacies you had to eat. They sort of ripped the guts out of a sheep, didn't they? And gave you. Yeah. And how oh, was this? Was yeah. this good? Yeah. Was okay. this good? What so, is it, by mm, the way? It's like a, a very. <laughs> mm, I'm trying. <laughs> Dry. Yep. See, I know your look. Like I know your essence. look with that. Okay, that's I'm geez, sorry. Through your teeth there, but that's okay. It? That didn't. <laughs> it was made of barley and um and a bit of milk. Nice. Look, it probably wasn't the favourite thing I had while I was away. It's an acquired taste, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I'm um, there trying, and, and Elias' little sister's there scooping it up. <laughs> and you're going, here, have mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's yeah. part of travelling, yeah. isn't it? Is Tasting it? Yeah. the different food. Certainly yeah. is. Uh, big thank you, Lee Hubner shot those beautiful, beautiful pictures. Tim Davies Great job. Um, put it all together, and I've just got a couple of gifts for you. So this is a little hat I got on the side of the oh. road coming down the mountain oh, in Chensha. Oh, so lovely. it was made by the locals in the village. And there's Oh, one for Brett. Nice. I'm sure you'll get a lot of wear out of it. Yeah, lovely. And I got you a scarf. Oh, <laughs> thank but, you. Um, I didn't oh, think you'd wear great. the hat. Oh, I like. Thank it's you. Good. Oh, well, you can feel free to try. <laughs> I feel like little. one of the flower pot men. <laughs> I felt like a little tea. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I didn't get your size right. I underestimated. But no, anyway. Good. That will grow into them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, next time I'll bring you some porridge. <laughs> I like, well, look, mine's perfect. I know. I was, Thank you. Yeah. This is great. great. Thank you. <laughs> no favouritism whatsoever. But you know what, too? I think there's a lot of people, like I say, I've got people, you guys and a lot of people. <laughs> I can't talk. Be have have the footy. photo of their sponsored child on the fridge, so just don't yeah. ever underestimate yeah. the impact that yeah. you're having in their life. I think that's the message that's come out of it all. It's a good thing. So. Very good point. Oh,